Hi, Mike Kennedy, M005 Kennedy with you today. And today we're going back to MREs, but we're doing a commercial MRE. I actually got this out of a bomb shelter, and I'm actually telling the truth. They had some, uh, where our ham radio emergency group meets, they had some uh, meals that had expired, so they were giving some away, so I got one of each, I got four. So th I thought we'd look at them, try them out, and talk to them. These are the type of meals that might be passed out uh, in an emergency situation to emergency workers or whatever. And uh, uh, they're similar to MREs, but then they're a lot different too. Uh, let's look at the nutritional facts. They have 1,050 calories, 280 from fat. They have 31 of your sodium, 32% of your protein, of your, excuse me, fiber, which is important to have fiber. The MREs tend to be low on that. Uh, it's got 30 grams of protein. Okay, now let's look at what's actually in this meal. It doesn't have as much variety. It's kind of in a bigger box than it needs to be, so you can tell they're not that concerned about space. Uh, you got an M&M's, either uh, regular or peanuts. You've got the main course, which is actually in a, a retort pouch, exactly like the MREs. You got a little plate to put it in. You've got a rather largish MRE heater. We've got a uh, cherry bomb drink. I can't stand cherry, so I won't be trying that. I'll get someone else to try it. We have chocolate peanut butter. And we have nothing to put it on, so you just squeeze it out and eat it as it is. We have fancy fruit mix. A little package of fruit. We actually have uh, the special water for the MRE. Now I notice here that this says, uh, not packaged for drinking, it's salt water. So this MRE actually needs salt water to activate it, rather than any water. So that's good that they put that in there. Although I suppose if this meal got frozen, that would be a problem. You'd have to thaw that out first. And then we have a little uh, accessory package, which looks like it contains... Oh, let's open it up to see exactly what it contains. It's got a, a shorter spoon, not as long as the MRE one, but I think, I assume, that you use in the plate. We've got some uh, salt and pepper, iodized salt. We have uh, we have some no salt for me seasoning. We have a moist moist towelette, and then we have a napkin. So let's see if we can give this a try. Let's check the directions on our MRE. Okay, let's see. We're going to insert food on open in the bag. I think you can do the hotel here. Uh-oh. Oh. oh the, you can actually tear them. Some of these things are with arthritis in your hands are pretty hard to peel. And then we have the perennial problem of trying to open a plastic bag. There. You can see this one, uh, you can see the, the material that heats here is kind of an iron based material. So, what's going to happen is it's going to, uh, it's actually going to oxidize, and that's what's going to provide the heat. And it's glued to one side, so obviously you uh, put it in on the other side. Uh, one, place on open pouch of eggs and bacon slices. Hmm, that isn't what I thought. That would sound even better. Uh, okay, fully inside. And now we're going to 
observes that yeah, there is a seal there. We're going to open the water pouch and uh, put in the heater within 20 seconds. Uh oh. I'm behind the time already. Tear here. Oh, and it again tears easily. We're going to put the salt water in. I'm pouring out on the side that has the, uh, the thing stuck to it. Okay, three. We're going to seal it back with this. Uh, there's a little piece of tape here that's going to allow me to tape it. Okay, oops. That's going to allow me to tape it. Huh. There. And then. Okay, they want to put, put it in a box. Uh, it doesn't say for how long. I don't see that. 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, it's already getting hot. They want you to put it back in a box so it stays insulated. So, back in 10. Oh, I can hear it fizzling. I don't know if you can hear that. Back in 10. I'm hoping you can hear the noise this is making. It also stinks. Uh, I roll down the windows in my car. Look at the uh, steam that's collecting. It's quite cold here in Maine today. But uh, definitely something you don't do in a closed car. It's got that typical MRE heater smell. So while that's tooling along, <coughs> uh, let's try Fancy Fruit Mix from King's. It's delicious. It's two ounces. It's uh, from Solomon, Ohio, the King Nut Company. 220 calories, zero from fat. Oh, nice, easy to peel, or easy to open. And we have predominantly raisins, but we've got uh, pineapple, mango maybe, raisins, unidentifiable, more raisins, very good. Now, of course, we know we're going to love our M&Ms. This is the fun size, which means there's the peanut ones, so we're seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's about fifteen in here. And again, we've got this uh, uh, sugary drink. Oh, 140 calories. That's not bad, I guess. 34 grams of sugar. Just had water. Pour it into a water bottle. Very good. about two minutes more. Now it's time. I assume this is going to be very hot. It's still steaming away. Wow, it is hot. Uh, the bo box is even soggy from that. I wanted to mention these heaters are made in the USA by Heater Meals 3. Three for three years of shelf life. MREs are much longer. 
Let's see if I can get this out. This looks hot. Let's close that up. Get this put in this bag here to pull out later. So that still had some heating power in it. Well, this is uh, this is hot to the touch. Now comes the moment of truth. They have a uh, rippable. They got a notch in it here, so it can be ripped, and it rips quite easily. And. <laughs> Green pepper steak. Hmm. I'm going to put some out on the plate so you can see it. There you go. I'll tell you, it doesn't look appetizing, but... It's hot. crispy uh, just water chestnuts or something in it. Let's try the actual meat. It is actual meat. Well, certainly would be welcome if I was hungry and working hard. I would say the military MREs taste better than this. That's my first impression. But be true, I haven't had this in an MRE green pepper steak, so... Uh, There's like three quarters of a pound of the main entry. So with this meal, the primary, one of the primary differences, you're getting a huge main course and not a lot of extra things. I mean, we did have the chocolate peanut butter, which I'm going to try in a moment, but we didn't have like uh, crackers to spread it on. We didn't have a piece of bread. We didn't have a cookie. So as far as different things, it's less, but. Uh, the the uh, bigger uh, main course part is where the real food is. I'm not a fan of things with a lot of tomatoes in them. Which just tastes like it has. Certainly very edible. If I was in a, working in a disaster, having one of these would certainly be welcome. The MREs you definitely don't want to do in a closed-in area. I find that smell very objectionable. Uh -huh. I found as I've got older, more smells have become objectionable to me that never bothered me before. I really uh, don't like the smell of uh, tar than putting down fresh pavement. When it before, I wouldn't even think about that, and now I I don't like that smell at all. Okay, here's our plot plot a little. Squeezed chocolate peanut butter. This should be good. Oh, it doesn't have a little little place to rip, or does it? Nope. We take out our little 
knife again, maybe someone else could rip this easily, but not me. So the idea is you just squeeze it out in here. That's very good. Cross between a candy bar and uh, peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter. Very good. I wanted to mention that the fruit had 9% of the fiber that you need in it. The fiber is important. Uh, I don't see any fiber listed. This has got 3 grams of fiber, so that's 11% of your fiber. So together, that makes almost 20% and it said it had like, what did we say it had? This thing's still smoking. It had 32% of your fiber. But, uh, you don't digest fiber, but that's exactly why it's important. Because of uh, how it moves, it helps move food through your system. And uh, without it, you can get into troubles. So, this is Mike Kennedy. We've done our first in the series of four reviews on Heater 3 Males. This one's been the green pepper steak with rice. Uh, certainly edible, not objectionable. Uh, Something you wouldn't order in a restaurant, obviously, but uh, great meal for the field. I guess if I was, uh, I don't know, if you were backpacking or something, you could make it smaller by taking out the box, but then uh, the box does have some advantage because you're using it uh, to heat the meal in, so a lot of the heat doesn't escape. So that's that's kind of a good feature. So you may want to keep the box, but uh, they're certainly not that big. Uh, the only problem, and it may not be that much of a problem. It, I was thinking with freezing, the salt, salt water doesn't freeze at the same temperature as as regular water. So it'd be interesting to see what this freezes at. So, in other words, say you have this meal in your car it's cold, you want to use it, the, the ice water is frozen. Uh, so that could be an advantage, disadvantage of keeping them in the car uh, all winter long, but uh, I suppose you could heat that up with either the car vents if your car was still operating, or you could put it on in a uh, pocket and allow your body to uh, melt it. Or you could just take that, say I had three of these meals, you could keep the pouches separate and bring them in and out of the car, but then chances are if I did something like that I'd forget it when I needed it. But three of these in a car, they talk about generally having an emergency in the United States being lost or, or something like that usually is a 72 hour event, three days. So if you had three of these meals, that would certainly a thousand calories a day. Uh, that could certainly keep you uh, healthy and uh, would be a very good addition to any kind of emergency supplies that you would keep in the car. Uh, I have in my car some more uh, like a food ration the last three days and uh, I've done a video on that as well. So this is Mike saying have a good day, have a good meal, bye.